Hi everybody, just want to introduce the new version of the uh, PayPal Instant Store. Uh, using PHP, uh, this new version has a lot of new features. I've redone a lot of the uh, management so then the user does not have to play around with a CSV file anymore. They can just go to the management console and do everything from there. As you can see, uh, this is the new uh, look and feel of the site. Uh, this is what the customer would see. And uh, something I new I've done here is uh, using a pop-up for the uh, shopping cart. Uh, before it was a drop-down, but now that is a shopping cart, it'll be a lot more responsive. And uh, it'll be easier for the user to see the shopping cart without getting hidden by anything. Um, another thing I've done is to uh, allow you to add weight to the item. So as you can see, there is now something called weight. Uh, this is uh, based on the user request. Uh, in the Code Canyon uh, forum. Again, if you have any questions, please post your questions there or just go directly to my uh, website. Now, um, oh, my website again is uh, paypalinstance.com. So you can always go there to find me. And uh, so let's talk about the admin page. So when you go to the admin page, um, you're gonna go basically the name of your URL and then slash admin. That's how you go to admin. Uh, I'm just uh, looking at my site locally here. That's why it has these uh, weird stuff. But normally you would just say, uh, you know, it'll be like um, mysite.com slash admin. Okay, and that's how you would get there. And so the admin page basically has everything you need to edit your all your items. So. By default, I'm going to include a bunch of uh, pages, right, uh, items right here, and it's all numbered, so it's easy to tell how many items you have. Um, so you can add a new item by clicking new item, and here you can enter the name, the price, the quantity, uh, URL to the image, and I'll go over that later, uh, description, and the weight. So the weight, you could put in any value, or you could put it in like 32 pounds, or 32 ounce. it's free text so you know it's not just restricted to numeric values um, what's another thing so let's add new item oh well, let's do add new one let's say uh, add uh, let's call it super duper stuff $20 uh, I got one item um, you know I just put the first there blah blah uh, I don't have to put a weight if I don't want to so Okay, now you see it instantly. It's updated, right? That was very quick. And if I go back to the customer site, I am going to see the page. Hopefully, okay. Wonder why the images are not showing up. Let me take a quick look. It was just there. We just saw it. PayPal Instant. Dot com. Blah, blah, blah. That's weird. Oh, my internet went down. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Let me get my internet back up. Just uh, going back to the network. Do a refresh. Now it should hopefully come back. All right, there we go. So that was the network issue. Sorry about that. Uh, so anyways, I added that super duper stuff, right? There it is. So I'm just going to get rid of it, delete it, done. Go back there, do a refresh, and now it's gone. So that was really fast and simple. Okay, it's been deleted. Done. So uh, let's, you know, another thing you want to do probably, uh, here's a, basically it tells you everything, right? You got the name, you got the price, quantity, weight. Easy for you to find out what uh, kind of stuff you have there. And then if you want to edit it, I just click the edit icon, and then I can edit this stuff any way I want. There, I edited it. So I took out that number after the name. Um, so that was really easy, right? Um, what else? So we can add a weight, you know, that's a new thing. 32 pounds, two pounds. There, two pounds. That was very quick. Um, we got site settings again. We got the site name, the page title, your email, your PayPal email. That's very important if you're selling stuff. Uh, we got the site logo, we got the uh, page description, and the weight, and then we got the upload images. So, I mean, this is where a lot of the stuff will help you. Uh, upload images allows you to basically upload all your logos and images right here. 
So uh, it's just drag and drop. I mean, it's really simple. You just drag and drop files here, and it will automatically appear here, and um, then you can reference it. You can just click on it to, to get the URL, and then and then you just uh, uh, reference the the link to the image, just like uh, here, right? So I mean that's it. That's really simple. You can delete the image if you don't want the image there anymore. Um, again, it accepts only image files like JPEG, PNG, BMP, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you cannot upload anything else. Just to make sure it's a security thing. Um, I mean that's and then if you want to preview the site, you just click preview site and it'll go directly to the site, the customer site. Um, and that's it. Oh, when you first go into the admin, it's going to ask you for a password. Okay. And, um, and that is, um, let's see. It's going to ask you for a password. 